here to discuss the 2012 election. This will be one of the most important elections of our lives. President Obama has been a complete disaster for America, giving us record debt and nearly 9% unemployment in the sense that he, in the sense that our cherished American dream is slowly fading. This is a far cry from the hope and change the President had promised us. But then again, by now, we're used to broken promises from President Obama and his best friend in the U.S. Senate, Bob Casey. On key issues, Bob Casey has abandoned Pennsylvania and stood with Obama 100% of the time. Senator Casey supported the Obamacare and most recently flip-flopped on the so-called pro-life credentials by not coming out in strong support of the bill that Senator Toomey has co-sponsored that protects the religious freedoms. <clears throat> Senator Casey also supported the $825 billion failed stimulus. The third anniversary of that failed stimulus happens today. And this is just another example of promises broken by the Obama-Casey team. President Obama and Bob Casey promised that the $825 billion stimulus bill would save or create 3.5 million jobs and keep unemployment below 8%. But in three years since the bill's passage, we've lost more than 1 million jobs and unemployment has remained above 8% for a record period. We can't afford four more years of President Obama and we definitely can't afford six more years of Senator Bob Casey. Thankfully, we have a strong pro-business and pro-jobs candidate ready to challenge Bob Casey this fall and take our Bradford County values to Washington, D.C. Steve Welch isn't a career politician. He's a businessman who knows how to create jobs. He's actually a type of businessman that, that's so good at creating jobs that folks hire Steve to help them create businesses. And that's what he does now. Steve is the head of Dream It Ventures, a company that helps those with a great idea make their business dreams into reality. Steve, Steve, Welch's, Steve Welch embodies the type of leadership we need in U.S. Senate, and we look forward to supporting him this fall. I will now introduce a team that has been fighting for jobs and fiscal responsibility in Bradford County. Voters elected Daryl Miller and Doug McClinko to put Bradford County back on the right track by holding the line on taxes, focusing on improving our transportation and protecting our county's nat natural resources. And in a few short months they have been in office, they have done just that. And without further delay, please join me in welcoming Bradford County Commissioner Daryl Miller. Daryl Miller, Bradford County Commissioner. I'm proud to stand here today with Steve Welch and endorse his candidacy. Steve is just the type of person we need in Washington today. Steve is concerned, just as I am, about the future of this country. The chance for future generations to have <coughs> have their version of the American dream is being threatened. We need leaders in Washington that will fight to get this economy going again. The residents of Bradford County are just like people across Pennsylvania. They are worried about the economy. This is the most important issue for everyone today, and Senator Casey has shown that he is not a leader when it comes to getting this economy going again. For the last five years, Senator Casey 
has sat on his hands as the unemployment rate has skyrocketed in Pennsylvania and here in Bradford County, Senator Casey has continuously tried to stand in the way of the growing natural gas industry. What he has supported are all the failed policies of this administration. All the bailouts, the stimulus package, and he played a major role in pushing Obamacare on American people. None of this demonstrates the type of leadership we need today. We need people like Steve Welch to go to Washington that understand what it takes to get a company started from the ground up. Steve understands just how tough Washington is making it for our small businesses to grow or for new companies to get started. Steve will be a leader in the Senate that we will be proud of and he will be a great ally to Senator Tillman. Now I'd like to introduce Commissioner Doug McClinko. Uh, I'm here today to, to just not endorse uh, Steve, but to ex I'm excited about his endorsement for a couple of reasons. First of all, uh, Pat Toomey uh, ran against our own inspector many years ago. Uh, Steve and I were on that team. It was the right team. Senator Toomey's doing a terrific job in Washington. Steve understands business and growth and creation of jobs and what all that means. And I, but just let me tell you this much. I've known Steve for not a whole lot of time, but he's been to Bradford County a handful of times already. How many times Bob Casey's been to Bradford County? I've been a commissioner for two terms. In my third term, that would be zero. Zero times from Bob Casey. Bob Casey is doing legislation in Washington today to kill jobs in Bradford County. We need Steve Welsh desperately in that United States Senate. We need Barack Obama gone. So it's, it's with my uh, honor to be excited about the next senator from the state in the state of Pennsylvania, Steve Walsh. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Uh, the Chairman Matthews, uh, I will tell you, I'm new to politics, but the, the most thankless job at all of politics is county commissioner. So to Chairman Matthews, thank you for all you do. Uh, to the commissioners, I'm, I'm proud to have you on board. Um, you know, you know Brad, Bradford, sorry, Bradford County is lucky to have uh, people of your caliber looking after the taxpayer and making sure we create uh, pro uh policies here in the, in the county. Uh, I think it's time that we come together, uh, not just as a party, uh, but as a conservative movement. The, the battle that's ahead of us in 2012, it is real. And what Americans realize is we are in a crossroads. Uh, too many of our fellow citizens are out of work, People are struggling to stay in their homes. And when we look at Washington, we see red ink as far as the eye can see. When I see Washington, I see career politicians like Bob Casey that just don't have a clue. There's not an absolute clue how this economy works from the ground up. That has to change. It has to change now. And in Pennsylvania, we can make a change. The road to the White House runs through Pennsylvania. Control of the Senate runs through Pennsylvania. And this year, we're going to have a clear contrast. We're going to talk about our vision of America, one that empowers the American entrepreneurial spirit allow people to use their God-given talents and creativity to create products and services that people need. And we're going to contrast that with Bob Casey and Barack Obama's big government agenda. An agenda that's based on Washington knows best what's, merit, what's for, uh, needed for American businesses and families. A policy or a, a philosophy that has failed us time and time again. We're going to talk about our vision for America, which responsibility is what it, it's based on responsibility, based on making sure that the next generation is handed America that's in better shape than the American we, we have received. We're going to contrast that with Bob Casey and Barack Obama's policies that are based in pure selfishness. Selfishness. Unwilling to be honest with the American people about the challenges that lie ahead. Unwilling to make the tough decisions that are required to make America competitive again. You know, it's actually quite comical when you look at uh, Bob Casey when he ran in 2006. He actually talked about being fiscally responsible. He talked about balancing the budget. He actually talked about his, his main claim to fame was he was going to be an independent voice for Pennsylvania. But look at this president, or this, this senator. He has voted with Obama 98% of the time. And when he's broken with Obama, he's actually broken to the left. He's one of three senators that voted against defunding ACORN. He voted against the free trade agreements. President, excuse me, Senator uh, Casey is nothing more than a rubber stamp for uh, Barack Obama and his big government agenda. And I will make sure the people of Pennsylvania know that. You know, Casey's going to try to run 
on who he's not. And from the day, from the first day, I've said I'm going to run on who I am. I've been honest with the voters across the state about my partisan past because I think it's important that we acknowledge uh, that the Republican Party, while in charge of Washington, in many ways lost its way. We lost our conservative principles. We let spending grow out of control. We let earmarks run rampant. We let corruption run through the system. And if we lost, not just in Pennsylvania, we lost across this country, we lost hundreds of thousands of voters because we didn't govern consistent with our principles. And I was one of them. But when I saw the Obama, Casey, Pelosi agenda, I came running back to the Republican Party. Not just running back committed to being a member of the party, but running back committed to making sure this party never abandoned its principles again. And I wasn't alone. Across the state, hundreds of thousands of people got involved and that gave birth to the great Tea Party Revolution of 2010. A revolution that helped elect Pat Toomey and Tom Corbett, helped us win up and down the ticket here in Pennsylvania. You know, second chances in life uh, really are a blessing. And in 2010, the voters of Pennsylvania gave Republicans a second chance. And I, as, as the U.S. Senate nominee, I will travel to every corner of this state, from Bradford to Bedford, from Philadelphia to Erie, to make sure we bring back those voters we lost the last couple cycles. And I'll use my story, not just my political story, but my business story, which really is the American story. <laughs> Starting with nothing, building a business, and now helping others do the same. You know, there's a lot of knocks and a lot of people are concerned about the American economy. I will tell you, I read a thousand plus business plans a year. There is absolutely no shortage of ideas. We are still the most productive, we are still the most innovative society the world has ever seen. We simply have a government that is pricing us out of the global marketplace. We have a government that is lighting us towards bankruptcy. And that's why the stakes in 2012 are so high. And I will tell you, I will fight with every fiber of my being between now and November 6th to get this country back on track, but I cannot do it alone. I need the help and support of everybody across the state. And I will assure you, together, we can grow the party. Together, we can win elections. But most importantly, together, we can win the hearts and minds of the people of Pennsylvania. And that's what's needed to make sure that we get the policy in this country back on track and restore the values that made this the greatest country in the history of the world. Thank you, and God bless. Thank you for your support. It means a lot to me. You have time to take questions if anyone would like. Questions? Okay. Thank you very much.